Hey, I'm back. Um, so, I don't really know what to talk about today. Um, I have kept all my thoughts and prayers for all the hurricane victims, earthquakes. Um, they're talking about the Jose, Hurricane Jose possibly hitting uh, the East Coast and or working its way up the East Coast and hitting New York. Um, and that's kind of been a little unsettling with me um, for hurricanes and earthquake and all of this hitting the U.S. and its territories. So, um, I just really have been watching um, the Weather Channel. Um, and I just pray that everybody was able to evacuate, um, at, you know, um, I know gas was not something that everybody was able to get, um, I seen on the news where people just ran out of gas and left their cars in the median, um, but let's get in a better mood, um, I had a... You guys make me sleepy. Um, we had a pretty good weekend. Um, I didn't have to eat, fix any dinner, um, because I had made that chili. And what I eat is like four tablespoons. I put in a little bowl. And, um, my husband, he's been eating a lot of it. He likes it. And, um, my stomach's been hurting. Um, I'm still having a lot of pain in the left side. And again, I just keep telling myself, that's, that's normal. That's what he says. It's normal. Okay. And then, but with the pain, it's radi the pain's radiating from the front to the back. Because you know how you can have pain on one side, but it's not really the pain that's really there. It's actually onto the other side. Um, I'll, I'll never forget this. Um. I had the pulmonary embolism, and at the time, I didn't even know that my my right lung um, was um, filled up. Um, it was partially partially collapsed, and um, I had a pulmonary embolism uh, right below my boob <laughs> in that area. And, um, I was feeling pain on my right side when it was the pain where it was actually on my right, on my left. Um, so I, um, I always question it and in, instead of going to the ER, a lot of times I'll just go to my doctor's office because she has an x-ray machine right there and let her, let her do a, uh, I gotta charge this thing up, and let her do the x-ray because if it doesn't show up in the x-ray, then I have to have a CAT scan um, because pulmonary embolisms don't show up in a uh, x-ray. Uh, they, you have to have a CAT scan. So, um, to save trips to the ER. I swear, I'm not sleepy. I mean, I get up late, and I'm sleepy. And I go to bed early, and I'm sleepy. So it don't matter. Um, but yes. Um, and I don't forgot where, where I was going with this. This is just... And this is me. This is normal for me. Um, I'll stop in the middle of something and say, what was I talking about? Because I just, my brain is gone. Um, what was I talking about? are talking about hurting. Oh, yeah. Um, I, um, you know, I still have the pain from the surgery. Um, but it goes, it radiates from my front to my back. And I 
I am so sorry because I know these are contagious. I'll watch these and I'll start yawning because I'm I'm yawning on the video. Um, but anyway, um, and then I'm so short statue statured. I'm only four foot ten, and I, it was even like this when I carried my babies. My baby's feet were up underneath my rib cage, and um, they were all the time kicking me in my rib cage. Uh, one time, when my first first child with my daughter, and I was sitting in the bathtub, and I was, I felt this pushing on the outside, on through yeah through my stump through my abdomen, but she was pushing, and she pushed so hard I could see her little foot outline of her foot. Okay, but I'm getting off course. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. I don't remember what I was talking about now. I'm just, I'm just really short. And I've been having pain, um, up underneath my ribs. And if I stand up, or I can be stretched, I feel better. When I'm sitting down, um, for all of you that have been pregnant, you're gonna, you're gonna, to know what I'm talking about. Um, I feel very uncomfortable, uh, just below my ribs. Um, so that, that's what I've been kind of dealing with. And today, um, I've had a uh, attack. A cry. This this is Crohn's, um, cause it's in my intestines. Um, I started getting. Oh, jeez, and I can't figure out how to cut this out. Uh, I've got Filmora uh, Wonder Share. I'm still playing with it, trying to figure out how to cut pieces out that I don't want it. But anyway, um, and so yeah, I just, when I sit down, I feel like I've got a baby up and underneath there, and either the head or feet just pushing on me. But when I stand up, I have no problem, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I've been having, I'm aggravated. Um, so yeah, um, I hate when I do this. I t it's embarrassing. I keep losing my dad on mine. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, earlier, um, I got it. And I went in the living room and was watching some TV with my husband. And I just started having extremely, extremely, extremely bad cramps that were feeling like they, my intestines were being twisted and pulled and bit and in a wrench and just. And. Oh, you know. Getting a little nauseous. But this isn't, this isn't gastroparesis. This, this, and this is the, uh, Crohn's disease illness. And, you know, I've been saying that I've had, been getting mouth sores, and I've gotten some sores, you know, on my nape of my neck, and in other places, and my face is breaking out. Now, I've been in a Crohn's flare, but now it's finally just, boo, hitting me. And, um, so, I went ahead and I took my nightly medicines early, like, right now it's like 8.15, and, um, I went ahead and took those, and, um, I was going to take a pain pill, but I took Phenergan first, see if it was going to help, um, because my, my, per my purposes are, hold on, I can't see anything. With that glasses. 
I had to have bifocals. As soon as I turned 40, I had to have bifocals. I've always had to have glasses anyway, but I had to have bifocals. Yeah. 10 per 325. That's 10 milligrams of perk sets and 325 milligrams of Tylenol. So I try the um, ibuprofen first, and then if that don't work, I could take I could take that, but I try not to. And then when I do, I break it in half. I only take half. Um, and I also took a um, Flexerol because I take Flexerols for that. I get prescription for the. The cramping and all that. The Levson did nothing for my stomach. Nothing. Um, so I have several different doctors like everybody else. It writes a script. Well, I have this GI for this. I have this GI for that. I have a surgeon for this. I have a surgeon for that. Oh, yeah. So I'm trying to keep up with all of them. Or it's a, you know, it's crazy. But, yeah. That's how I've been feeling. Still feel good. Oh. My stomach exploded. And I don't have to eat very much for it to get bloated. Because I don't eat much. I don't. I really don't. A lot of times, I'll fix myself. Because, you know, oatmeal is... However many cups of oatmeal, you, how many cups of water do you put? You put half of whatever water you put in the not skillet pan, and so um, I usually put a half a cup. And then I put a quarter cup of oats. And that's about all I can eat. And, um, but I do that a couple times a day. And it doesn't bother my stomach. Not at all. And it, and it fills me up. And then I allow myself one Dr. Pepper. One. Just one. And I don't like, I don't like my drinks freezing cold. I like, okay, well maybe three, four, maybe high, five ice cubes. And, um, now pour my can of pop in my cup. And I use this one. Another one of my Hugo Bell things. My husband went out and got me. He got that for me when I had my surgery in July. Um, so, yeah, and that's about it. You know, just like everybody else, just you know, we have our days, and then sometimes our days suck. You know, you can wake up feeling pretty doggone good, and then it, it, in a matter of minutes it can turn around so I've already hung about bag of fluid and I've got them going um I don't know I, I could be just um I thought I could just probably need an extra bag of fluids and sometimes that is all it is and um when I order my supplies and ask me how many bags of fluids I have, I tell them how much, but I'm not going to say, why well, only send me this. No, I'm going to, I'm keeping what I've got, and you should going to send me another week's supply. Because I do. Sometimes I have to have that extra bag. But, anyway, I hope that Everybody, um, is doing good, and I hope that you feel good, um, 
I don't know that you would tell me if you really were or weren't. Um, we all have the space that we put on to other people. And we'll just look at you stare in the face and say, hmm, I'm fine. I'm okay. When really deep inside, you want to throw up, pass out, and that's it. So, I'm going to say thank you to everybody that is in the uh, rescuing. I don't care if you're in the military, National Guard, police, sheriff, firefighters, uh, nurses, doctors, uh, patient care assistants, all of them, because all of you are will eventually play, play a role in the rescue. Um, paramedics, um, and uh, we should we all need to call Red Cross and find out what they need um, because if you don't have money you don't have to send money sometimes it's just um, clothes diapers something um, of that nature um, yeah just something that simple and that's it um, so on my previous uh, on my previous video uh, there is a video it says hurricanes and devastations and um, you can go there and at the end is a list or oh, in the you know in the information there is a list of um, charities and foundations that you can call and donate. I don't know if they just take money, but um, the Red Cross, you know, they they take whatever. Um, so, you know, all thoughts and prayers go out to those um, victims of Hurricane Harvey. Um, of those in Hurricane Katia, uh, and um, also um, the victims of Mexico because of the Hurricane Katia, and also because of the her earthquake, and for the and for the um, those that um, are now being hit by. Hurricane Irma and those that will soon be hit by Hurricane Jose. And all we can do is sit here and pray for them. Um, but like I said, if you want to help, call your local Red Cross and ask them. You mean you don't have to give them money, I and mean, they will take donations. Um, so. And I'm going to end with that. Um, I'll, I may, I'll probably just go on down and, and re, re copy and paste it. So it makes it easier for you. But you guys have a good day. Bye. everybody good morning um, whatever time it is for you guys if you're just now getting up or if you're just now getting to bed um, I wanted to uh, add this to the end of the video um, that I'm fixing to upload to YouTube um, I wanted to remind you that today is September the 11th um, 16 years after the World Trade Centers was um, attacked and um, uh, the one hit the Pentagon and the one in Pennsylvania uh, that the um, 
that the uh, well passengers took over the plane. Um, so I don't know where you guys were at the moment. Um, I was home and heard the news. Uh, my son was. How old was he? That was 2001. My son was four and was watching it and told me, Mommy, the planes went into the building. So, I don't even know if he remembers it. Um, but this is just like Desert Swarm. I know exactly where I was when that was started. Um, so, let's just have a brief moment of silence today. And think of everybody who lost their lives very tragically. And um, remember what happened afterwards. Um, so uh, let's all pray for all the victims and their families. Because it doesn't matter how long ago it was. They still miss them. Um, you guys have a good day. And be safe.